What's happening, guys? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. What do you say we unlock these padlocks? Alright, that's one way to start this video off with a bang. So now that we've done that, this hatch is open. And we can access the other part of the level. I've calculated the trajectory of these rockets, and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Uh, what about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. Well, that's reassuring, but we do have a few more uh, treasure keys to uh, deal with. And I do believe I see a place where we can enter to get one of those treasure keys. Let's take part in a desperate race. Hurry, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand and I think to myself, Hey Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. I could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boost you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. So we have another race, and this time it's against monkeys, but it's roughly the same as, uh as it was in Mugshot's level. So just drive around and pick up any Nitro Boost power-ups and avoid those icy patches because they will slow you down! Uh, I've never been a fan of these racing levels, but fortunately this is the last one we have to deal with in the game, which is good. And wow, I'm actually in third place already. That's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I'm not hitting any Nitro power-ups. Well, until now, of course. But as is the case with the uh, previous race, you'll want to uh, build up some Nitro power-ups and not run into a wall like I just did. Okay, so we're in second place now. Except this guy is right on my tail. And is it me, or do those cars look a lot more like locomotives? Alright, come on. I can do this. Oh, jeez. Why am I missing all of these power-ups? That's not a good idea. And stop running into those power-ups, please. Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe I don't think I can do this. He's just too far ahead. And it's not going to help if I land on my side, either. Nope, I can't do it. Okay, I'm going to cut until I win the race, so I'll see you guys later. All right. There we go. Okay, that only took me two tries. You know, I really gotta start uh, being quiet when I do these levels because commentary and racing, they don't mix. Well, at least not for me, they don't. But uh, that wasn't too much trouble. So now that we have that key, I think we're going to uh, head back to the top level 
and go after the only remaining key there. Hold on a second, though. We have a guard to deal with. And now we don't. Let's head into the Flaming Temple of Flame. Really? That's the best name you could have come up with? I can't tell if that name is really funny or really stupid, though. Yeah, we are going to need to stay on our toes, because this level can be a little bit tricky. Alright. Now, before we swing across, there are three clues right off the bat that we need to collect down there. But, uh, be prepared to do a lot of swinging in this level, because there are several, several hooks. Gotcha! And also, some laser security as well. Oh, wow. I thought I was going to, uh get caught there. Now, bef now there is a lucky charm that's right down here, but there's also a place we can sneak around, and on the other side, we find two very easily missed clues. I cannot tell you how many times that I have played through this level, and then I find out that I'm missing two clue bottles, and it turns out to be those exact ones! Oh, I thought I wasn't going to make it. Okay. Now, there are only 25 clue bottles here. However, a lot of them are pretty well hidden. Oh, and speaking of being well hidden... A ninja. Well, they do remain in the shadows, but... You have to do a lot of sidling, and also you have to do a lot of um, avoiding searchlights and lasers while doing this. And when we walk in here, we find another ninja monkey. And we also find a bunch of monkeys training. Now, don't worry about them, because they will not attack you. Even though they can clearly see you, they're focused on their training. Now, here is a safe which has two more clues in it. And there are a lot of coins right up here. So be sure to collect them if you're running low. And one thing I never mentioned is that uh, the coins, the emblems on the coins change depending on what level you are in. Uh, in the Welsh Triangle, they had Raleigh's hat. In uh, Mugshot's world, they had a dollar sign because there was a casino there. And in... Ms. Ruby's level, they had a skull. The Panda Kings, it's sort of a claw mark. And absolutely nothing will happen if you strike that gong. Usually when someone strikes the gong, their training is over, but... What? Ugh. Oh well. Be prepared for a lot of that to happen. You have to jump, and then you have to sidle almost instantly in order to uh, get to some of the areas you need to get to in this level. Now, they say this is the Flaming Temple of Flame, and I definitely see flames, but the temple itself is not on fire, and that confuses me a little bit. So if we head up on this balcony, uh, we can find three more clue bottles. Now, uh, we want to climb up this flagpole and then destroy this. And, and if you can see on the other side, there are clue bottles over there. Four of them, to be exact. Now, the last one's going to be pretty tough because I have to make a very precise jump. Whoa! Not too shabby. I'm actually doing pretty well so far. Well, I don't want to jinx it, though. Uh, nothing over here, except a rope for us to slide down. However, if we jump down here, 
and then we carefully make our way across there, we can find two more clue bottles. Alright, we want to head right back up here once we're done. And then we'll want to, uh, slide down. And, but... Okay, I'm gonna call foul on that. I clearly hit him. But... Curse you, Sucker Punch. Okay, that was better. Alright, here we have another safe, which has two more clue bottles. And we have another guard that we need to get past. Oh! I knew that was a bad idea. Okay, looks like we'll have to go invisible for this one. Yep, I'm afraid I jinxed it. I said I was playing well, and obviously the game has other ideas. Alright, so you want to hit it, and then you want to jump and turn invisible quickly. Now if we head behind here, we can take our revenge upon this monkey and find two more clue bottles. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And we are almost at the end of the level, which is very, very cool. Now, I'm actually not sure which way to go. I think you go up here. Do you? I'm wondering. Yes, you do. Because the last three clue bottles are right here. And then we're going to take another leap of faith. Because the vault is actually still quite a distance away. Alright, girl. I won't say anything. Hiya! I may not know Kung Fu, but I know Sly Fu. And Sly Fu is fast and furious. By the way, this is a lot easier if you have the, uh... Define Gravity technique. And no, I don't mean from Wicked. I mean the ability... To not lose a lucky charm when you fall into a bottomless pit, as I have done hundreds and hundreds of times throughout this project. Okay, I wouldn't say hundreds, but I've fallen in one too many, put it that way. And one last laser grid stands between us and the safe. I mean vault, which is right here. Lucky for you, I burst in chaos theory. Otherwise, this code would have been unsolvable. Input 932. Input 9, 3, and 2. Very hard to see. In fact, I don't think I can see it. You found the blueprints for the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your binoculum. That's pretty handy, except if memory serves, there really is one, only one level left in the Panda King's level that actually has clue bottles, because, yes, after this treasure key, we are going to get our fifth one. Alright, with that completed... We have our fifth treasure key, and only two more to go. So, what I'll do is... In the next episode, I will definitely collect both treasure keys. So next... And I think it's a good time to end the video right now. So, next time on Let's Play Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, we are going to take on the last two levels of the Panda King's world, and we might actually have enough time to beat the Panda King himself. So, if you like my videos, be sure to leave a like, comment, or subscribe. Every one of those really, really helps. See you guys next time.